Howdy, Tex here in. This is the lure we're gonna be making today. This one is gonna be a three inch. Let's see how wide it is. Get the old presidential uh, ruler out. It's inch and a half by in three and a half inches. It's gonna be a big boy, and I think I'm gonna keep this boy a little chunky too. I'm gonna keep a inch thick. Let's go cut this boy out. Oh my gosh, perfect. I drew it out a little bit, seeing if uh, what it would look like, and I think I'm going to keep it chunky. I'm just going to make it the when I uh, put the chamfers on it. I'm just going to put big boy ones on and make it like almost round, perfectly round. That's I think my plan is so. <laughs> Okay. Don't know if uh let me see if this help. I shut this light off. Does that look better? Okay, you can see this back line more. I'll just keep that there. But go ahead and go up like that. Go like that. And have like a this back area straight back. That looks better than having it come to a point. I had to get the bandsaw out because I think it would be easier to cut this out and sand it to the line than try and take all this material off of it. I 
Okay. Receive. There you go. Take out a big train for lines this time. Hopefully not take away from the blockiness. Sand and on it. Okay. Take some 100 grit. Let's crown these over. I think I got it. <clears throat> First started off with this. It's too big. Ended up with that, and that looks pretty good. You alright? I need to get a silent one. Shut up. I think that's good. Go ahead and go with that. Nice. I think for this one I'm going to use uh, a, a some TV weld. That's the epoxy I got. I would normally, for lift, I usually use just super glue, put super glue in it, quickly put it in, and like do it that way. But there's not that much, uh, like, there's not that much wood there to hold it in. And I don't want the uh, lift to break or do anything, so I think I'm going to use epoxy. It's the first time I've ever used epoxy to put in a lift, but man, that looks good.
Let's hope this doesn't destroy everything. Perfect. I think I'm going to put a little. This is a half inch. I think I'm going to put a smaller one right behind it. I want this boy. Sick. Probably here at the lead box ready. I'm gonna wait to put the uh, hook point right there until I get the lead sand over so I don't have to worry about running that. Perfect. Hey boys, it's heavy. Super glued it. No, I might. I guess if I can find a paintbrush and use that and paint it on and stuff. Okay, I couldn't find one, but I found this old one that has a this on it. So I just cut it off and go use that. So, there you go.
Hmm. Okay. Let's try. Okay. I think that's good. So I like it because it it's heavy enough for it. Like I thought I need more weight, but I don't really have that much more area. I guess I could put some right there. But like I can't, re don't want to put any back here. So like right there is like the only place I could add weight, but I don't really want to add weight. So I had to go get other lures. These are lures I, like this one, it's one I painted. I just wanted to see like what do these lures look like in the water and it's basically the exact same thing. And I love how these things move in the water, so. Honestly, I think that one I'm going to, not going to add any weight. I don't believe I'm adding any weight to this one. Because if I put some split rings on it, split rings, no. When I put my, uh, the eyelets on it, no, split rings, that's what they're called. I think it's also going to add a little bit more weight. I'll just put some heavier ones on it. Let's go. So I'm trying to mix up this nice green for a blue go. It's just gonna be inspired. It won't be exactly a blue go. I think that's a good color. Cool. It has uh, I put some of a uh, some pearl like green. So I got this color by mixing pearl, yeah, gold, just green. I put a drop of uh, yellow in it. A drop of black in it. A couple drops of green, uh, pearl green. And that's what color I got. So there's some you probably can't tell, but there's some sparkle in it. Oh. There's some pearlized gold and green in there. But next will be a. Uh, next I'm gonna grab some yellow, big pearl gold. I don't know. Put some yellow right here and put orange right there. Then I think I'll clear coat it. Put a thin clear coat on it. Then I'll get the details in after that. Uh, I'm to the uh, the deals. Okay, that doesn't look that bad.
Should have more down in like a thing, but I think that's good. Perfect. This thing turned out beautifully. I love the uh, how the dark uh, green slash black is only on the scale, so you still see the green going through it. Forgot to sign it though. Stupid. Trying to find a good place to stop. Okay. Woo two for two. That one has a quick action. It looks like it goes straight too. Like it doesn't veer off to one side. Never been on this side of this little tiny thing. I highly doubt there's any fish going by in. I was just trying to get. There's something on the other side of the lake on the other one where I would have been out of the sun. But it looks good. I'll look at you with a truck over there. God looks good. <sighs> Usually I fish on the other side. But I can't tell if you can tell. But there's still thin ice uh, covering over there. So I have to, uh, I just threw a stick up there on in it, I think they can go through. They gotta be somewhat thick. Oh. Ooh, it's chilly here. Man, that's a diver. God, it's a beautiful bait. Nice tight action, nice wobble. <laughs> 